Hello guys. Welcome to Anime Sum Up. Today's anime is about a force of supernatural darkness, unleashing on Tokyo, and five high school students with extraordinary powers, must band together to fight the scourge. So without any further delay, let's start. Tokyo is threatened by living corpses called the Reborn Dead, which attack and kill people who then become one of them. Meanwhile, students Tatsuma Hayu and Kyuchi Horaiji at the Megami Academy, beat off bullies from Sumida School, who regularly prey on students at their school. At night, Tatsuma and Kyuchi, along with fellow students Aoi Misato, Kamaka Sakurai and Yuya Daigo try to solve the mystery of the reborn dead attacks. One night they meet old man Yang who has knowledge of Taoism, but before they arrive, Yang and his group are attacked by the reborn dead. With information from Kyoko Tuno, the Tatsuma group arrive at the site of the next attack, which is controlled by a demon. They follow it to its underground lair and manage to destroy it. Meanwhile, a group of priests called the Kujakushi fight the demons Marie Claire and Tendo Kodzunu. In a flashback, Tatsuma Hayu is transferred to the Megami Academy and is challenged by the school delinquent Kyuchi Horaiji. After a short, evenly matched fight, they acknowledge each other's ability. Meanwhile, one of the ten sacred treasures is stolen from a temple. Fellow student Yuya Daigo challenges Tatsuma to a match in an abandoned building, but when Aoi and Kamaka try to stop the bout, they are interrupted by a faceless female Morio demon which attacks them. Fortunately, they are rescued by Hisui Kasaragi who destroys the demon. Tendo Kodzunu approaches Ryuchi Karasu, the angry young guitarist from the disbanded band. Crow, Karasu feels rejected and Kodzunu offers to make him a demon with the power to destroy those who cannot accept his music. Hisui Kasaragi explains to the group after the demon attack that he is a demon fighter and that there is a disturbance in the dragon stream, which flows through the earth. Later, people in the city are violently attacked by flock of crows. While investigating, the group encounters Raito Uman wielding an electrified melee spear searching for Karasu. He defeats them except for Aoi who holds back, but stops him by unleashing a blast of power which the others did not know she possessed. The group realizes that Raito is not controlling the crows, but instead it is his former friend and band member, Karasu. They all go in search of Karasu, but Raito tries to reason with him without success. Karasu attacks Raito, but during the fight, he is badly wounded. Karasu then transforms into a crow-like demon, but is still unable to defeat Raito and reverts to his human form. Aoi questions Karasu about how he became a demon, but before he can reply, Tendo kills him. School students begin collapsing in the city but the cause is not known. Kamaka leaves the group, frustrated at what she sees as Aoi's futile effort to fight demons, at the same time, Hisui Kasaragi discovers that five small Buddhist shrines built to ward off demons have been desecrated. Meanwhile, school reporter Kyoko Tuno refuses to leave her room. After witnessing the battle between the group and Raito, at school, Kamaka accuses Aoi of dumping her for Tuno. But Aoi suddenly collapses, Inagami recommends she be taken to Sakuragoka Central Hospital, to be seen by Dr. Takako Iwayama. Dr. Takako Iwayama diagnoses, that Aoi has had her consciousness imprisoned and is in danger of dying. Nurse Maiko Takamizawa sees a puppy spirit, that seems to be following Aoi. Tuno arrives at the hospital and claims to know the identity of the person behind the collapsing students, Raiji Sagea, who was the victim of bullies from Kagura Middle School who also killed his puppy. The group tracks Sagea down, but using demonic powers provided by Tendo Kodzunu, Sagea transports them into a dream world where his teddy bear monsters attack them. However, Aoi appears to him and convinces him to abandon his vendetta, thus frustrating Kodzunu who sees another one of his demonic puppets fail. As Kasaragi recovers from his wounds from fighting Raiji Sagea, both he and Aoi separately recall their time as children in the Misato household. Kasaragi explains to the group that the disturbances are not caused by the dragon stream, but by someone from the Kodzunu clan, who is using the dark arts to revive the demonical horde. He offers to fight them himself, but the members of the group all volunteer to fight with him. They proceed to a cavern which is under the sacred grounds of the Kasaragi family, where they encounter Tendo Kodzunu and Marie Claire. Kodzunu easily defeats them using demonical arts, however. Tatsuma fights back, withdrawing the Eight Hands Breath Sword. He has kept hidden which is also one of the Ten Sacred Treasure. However, when Marie Claire's dress is damaged during their fight, she unleashes her power and expels the group from the cavern. The police investigate a series of bizarre killings, in which the right arms of the victims have been torn off. Meanwhile, the group encounters Daigo's old teacher, Ryuzen Arai. Later, at the Megami Academy Archery Tournament, the possessed student who has been responsible for the killings, appears and targets Kamaka. 
The girl becomes a wasp-like demon with the ability to create holes in buildings and people, and the others race to Kamaka's aid. Kodzunu appears and attacks Tatsuma, demanding to know his identity and what is the source of his power. Daigo and Kamaka combine to defeat the demon who is revealed to be an old schoolmate of Kamaka, who injured her arm and could no longer compete at archery. Rather than accept Aoi's sympathy, the girl climbs the railing and falls to her death from the rooftop. Kamaka grieves for her schoolmate's death and breaks down, but Kyuchi helps her regain her composure and confidence. Meanwhile, Tatsuma visits Misato who reveals the scar on her back, which she received when she tried to save a friend in a school fire. This led to her strong feelings of empathy towards others. In return, Tatsuma reveals to her the birthmark on his hand, which made him seem different to others who bullied him. Later, the group assisted now by a revived Kamaka, tackle a demon creating chaos in the city. She was a young missing schoolgirl, Sarah Rakudu, and collapses after using all her power to combat the group. Aoi goes to her aid and revives her, which reveals to Kodzunu that she possesses the Bodhisattva Eye. A month later, demon activity has subsided so the group have little to do. Anko reveals to the others that Tatsuma has been seeing Seo Hirasaka from Shinagawa, whose parents died in the Crow incident. Kasaragi also deduces that Aoi possesses the Bodhisattva Eye. Meanwhile, Kodzunu approaches Aoi and offers to help her exploit the Bodhisattva Eye, but she refuses. Kyuchi visits Kasaragi and realizes that he plans to kill Aoi in order to prevent the Bodhisattva Eye being controlled by Kodzunu. Kyuchi tries to stop him, but Aoi overhears their argument and decides to end her own life. Meanwhile, Tatsuma accompanies Seo to the railway station as she prepares to leave the city. Tatsuma travels with Seo into the countryside, and eventually they arrive at her uncle's farm. However, when Tatsuma steps inside the house, he finds it is a trap set by Kodzunu, who reveals that Seo died some time ago and is now a corpse demon. Meanwhile, while following Tatsuma, Kasaragi, Daigo and Kamaka encounter Aoi, who has activated the Bodhisattva Eye, and she attacks them. Kodzunu simultaneously attacks Tatsuma, and realizes that he is a descendant of those he holds responsible for the destruction of the Kodzunu clan, and prepares to kill him. However, Seo intervenes and sacrifices herself to save Tatsuma. Kodzunu and Tatsuma resume their battle, while Raido Uman appears, and takes on Aoi and Marie Claire. They are then assisted by the sisters, Yukino and Hanano Oribe, and they all escape together. Tatsuma recovers from his battle with Kodzunu at Sakuragoka Cantral Hospital, and his friends gather around him. Ryuzen Arai and the Oribe sisters also arrive and Kasaragi explains that Aoi possesses the Bodhisattva Eye, and is being controlled by Kodzunu. Arai then tells the story of how it all began. The Kodzunu clan rebelled against the Sogonate. After it tried to kidnap one of their daughters, who had been born with the Bodhisattva Eye, but were decimated and went into hiding. Meanwhile, Kodzunu casts a spell using Aoi and the Bodhisattva Eye to create demons from the departed spirits of the Kodzunu clan. Partially recovered from his injuries, Tatsuma leads his friends to confront Kodzunu and his demons and hopes to save Aoi, leaving Kyuchi's gang protect those left at the hospital. A fierce battle ensues, and Tatsuma tries to break Kodzunu's control over Aoi even after she stabs him. He finally breaks Kodzunu's spell and Aoi recovers then helps Tatsuma's friends defeat the demons. Daigo severs Kodzunu's hand with his own blade leaving him almost defenseless, however, Kodzunu refuses to admit defeat, so Kodzunu's clan to take him into the underworld, all watched from afar by Munataka Yagyu. Two weeks after the battle with Kodzunu which rocked the city, life returns to normal. Arai explains that Kodzunu's clan took him because he had disturbed their eternal sleep, however, his hand which was left behind does not decay. Meanwhile, Kasaragi returns after sealing away the ten sacred treasures. Suddenly, Kodzunu reappears at the temple, but this time he transforms into a grotesque demon himself. The group unsuccessfully try to stop the demon and Aoi even tries to stop him herself. Kasaragi intercedes, but he is fatally wounded. So Aoi uses her powers to restore him. Tatsuma and Kyuchi go on to finally defeat the Kodzunu demon. Afterwards, Arai says that he suspects the demon was created by someone with considerable power in the dark arts. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.